So we're going to be explaining how this works, this TVI to um, HDMI and VGA. We just bought it. I haven't turned it on. I decided to make this video uh, because I couldn't find anything to split TVI signals and I was reading that you know there was a, a video signal loss. If you do decide to split it, some people say just put an extra DVR with an extra camera. Uh, but we decided to try it out, so we bought, you know, one of these converters. We connected one camera on it. The other one goes to the DVR, and as you can see, there's an HDMI VGA and a BNC output. Not sure what the CVBS stands for, but uh, we're gonna try it. This has a built-in amp on it. I believe it's five volts uh, to twelve volts, approximately. So. I can see that there is a couple switches here for T20P and 1060P. Also, we're going to be testing it. Um, I haven't turned it on, so here goes nothing. My apologies if the video is shaking a little bit, but um, we're going to try this. So, drum roll, please. Please. There you go, it's on. We can go to the TV. And. Thinking there is no loss, I believe, but it worked. Now we can see if it actually brought it to the TV. I don't. Uh, we don't see that much of a difference on it, but let's take a look at uh, the HDMI signal. So again, we were trying to use a splitter, one of those that like a T, B, and C splitter, but we uh, found out that the TV doesn't actually read TVI signals. Uh, we got a B and C to RCA, straight to the video input of the TV, and we got no signal. So now, let's see if we got something. So I'm a little excited about this. Hopefully it'll work, because they want uh, one of these cameras to face, one of the, uh, to be on one of the TVs. So there you have it, HDM2. I don't see anything yet. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, right now we're we're um, at 720p. The cameras are at 1080p, 2.4 megapixels. And there is a it look it looks like there's a slight video quality, but maybe I'm thinking that it's because the TV is not 1080p. Uh, but it is reading it at at uh, 720p, but. I go up here, I noticed that there was a little switch right here, so let's switch that over to 1080p. I guess that made a difference. Again, we look at the video, and it looks like it's still the same, so we didn't lose that much quality. Hopefully, when we take the video out from the DVR, let's say something does happen, uh, we're going to notice if there's any type of video quality loss. So. Just to let you know, I'm, I'm happy about this. You could put it um, on the TV. Uh, it just shut off. Not sure why. Uh, we're gonna have to switch it back to 720, I guess. Let's see. I don't know what that is. It's cool. So we again, it does show that it's 720. Uh, something must have happened. See, I'm gonna try to shut this back off because we switched it to 720p. I'm gonna turn it back on by unplugging it, and there you go. So in is 1080p, out is 720p. So that's a success. The reason why we got this converter uh, is due to the customer wanting, you know, an extra TV to um, be displayed from one of the, the uh, 360 degree fisheye camera so there you have it my apologies for the shake and I hope you guys uh, learned something new I am glad I did customers happy hopefully and we'll see you guys in the next video